When you initially set up the TerraStar LP1040 system, you want to type in the IP, go to your web browser and type in your IP address of your machine. And at that point, you will bring you up to this window. And I usually go into available paper, paper sizes. I will turn ARC series on, ANSI series on, and 30 by 42 on, as they show here. Then under paper size standards, I will turn on 24 inch, 18 inch, and 12 inch for the arc sizes. And then ANSI would be 22 inch, 17, and 11 inch. This depends, of course, on your customer's applications if you want all those turned on or not. If you are using 30 by 42, I'd recommend turning on the 15 inch roll as well. That is how you do web tool initial setup. Next, within WebTool, I'm going to show you under maintenance, special maintenance, login is maintenance, and the password is TKTK2010. What this will do is number 14 came up, capture operation panel screen. So now I can go in here and make changes or the other way around if the end user is at the copier can make changes. So now I'm going to show you how to set up scan to color device. So you want to select submit, select the printer button, go to edit, and all you need to do is type in the IP address. Everything else is all preset for you and select save. And then once it's saved, it'll bring you to your copy features. Next, I'm going to show you how to set up your submit to folder. We have over 100 folder locations to choose from and set up. So you want to select the submit button again, go to the folder tab, go to edit, and you want to type in the IP address of the computer system where this folder resides. The user is the computer name as you log into your computer each day. The password is your password you use to log into your computer. And the shared path is case sensitive. So if it scans or tests capital S or small s, it needs to show that accordingly. You do not need to do the forward hash marks anymore. You just type in the name of what that folder is. Also in this arena, you want to make sure that your folder is shared. Make sure it's shared with everyone and uh, uh, throughout the network as well. And that's how you set up scan to folder. Now we're going to show you how to set up Terio Station. Terio Station is a client software program that's used for anybody who wants to batch print, print jobs of different file types, or if they want to pull scan or archive hard copy documents into a digital format. So this is Terra Station. This is the icon that will show up on your desktop. And you can actually download this program on okidata-infotech, that's I-N-F-O-T-E-C-H dot com, and then go to Downloads to get the Terra Station. So once you have done, done that, it takes about 30 seconds or so to download. This is what you'll get. When I originally come in here, I'll go to Options, go to Options Settings, and this is where you can go to set up your printer. Here's your IP address. LPR is the best setting for this. The new version, Terio Station 2, now allows you more applications for small format. So we can print and capture the Oki small format copiers as well with this program. So once you've done that, you'll notice here that there is a view tab. So this allows you to see the big snapshot of the file. And the Print tab allows you to select, drop and drag documents into the program. I can highlight, right click, and go to Print Settings. And you can make multiple different changes here within your print job. You can do this one at a time, all of them. You can move the documents around, and so on and so forth. And then once you've done all that, you just hit Perform Printing, and you're good to go. And that's Terio Station.